Welcome to the first installment of Design Details with Dean. My name is Dean Smith, and I'll be your host in this series as we explore Phoenix Contact's heavy-duty industrial connector line, HeavyCon. In each of the coming episodes, I'll be reviewing HeavyCon's advanced design features and how they can help you with your next build. Now getting to today's episode, we see an overwhelming need to combine multiple connection points into a single connector to minimize space and simplify installation. Given that, I think talking about our modular insert system is a good place to start. Specifically, let's take a look at the linchpin that literally holds the modular inserts together, the modular insert frame itself. Phoenix Contact is an industry leader in modular frame design and development with its snap-in modular frame. We started with what was now an outdated hinge frame design, but through the continued efforts of an outstanding engineering team, we landed on the current snap-in frame design. This design features backwards compatibility with the old hinge design, along with some other cutting edge features that make the assembly quicker and easier. These include guaranteed correct module orientation with polarized slots, Robust stainless steel retention springs that allow the assembler to individually insert or remove modules without affecting neighboring modules. Standard letter markings for each slot to ensure inserts are installed in the proper order. Eradicates the need for accessories to secure the frame. Boasts compatibility with all standard modular inserts. Integrated leading PE ground contacts for both power and control lines. One of a kind retention spring design allows the assembly of inserts in a snap-in frame that has been pre-installed in a panel mounting base housing. Assured compatibility with all HeavyCon B-Series housings and all industry standard housings. Inserts, frames, and housings can all be mixed and matched to provide endless design possibilities. Whether you're looking at only the HeavyCon line or trying to integrate components from other suppliers, rest assured that you can easily combine your components into whatever solution you need. Approved by UL, CSA, and CE for global acceptance. So let's explore all of that in a little more detail. This is a design details video after all. Looking at the modular inserts themselves, they include a post on each of the short sides. One side is a wide post, while the other is a narrow post. Regardless of the modular frame design that's used, it must utilize this feature to ensure inserts are oriented correctly so opposite inserts fit together instead of crashing into one another. On these snap-in frames, each insert slot has a wide and a narrow cut to prevent improper insertion. This isn't the only feature needed to ensure consistent alignment of the inserts though. While having them installed in the correct orientation is important, you also want to be certain that each insert is in the proper slot for mating. For this, every modular frame includes letter coding for the slots A through F. To further that, frames intended for use on the plug side or sleeve housings are coded with uppercase letters, while the mating side, often on a panel, are coded with lowercase letters. However, the frames with lowercase letters could also be mounted in a surface mounted base or coupling housing. The slot identification is important because the modular frames are not symmetrical. They themselves are polarized by the integration of guide pins and sockets used to channel the PE lines. But more on that in a few minutes. So when you pull all these features together, it makes it possible to ensure different inserts are properly aligned and ordered to seamlessly mate together in the final assembly. These features also make it easier to document the proper assembly of these components. Whether the entire mated assembly is built under one roof or different manufacturers are responsible for each half of the mated pair, using these features ensures that the two connectors will mate properly. Now I want to back up to the insert posts again to explore their other purpose. Aside from being used to properly orient the insert in the frame, 
They're also the locking point a modular insert frame uses to hold the insert in position. With a hinged frame, the entire length of one side needs to be rotated open to allow the installation of all the inserts. The posts then fit into the appropriately sized windows along each rail before closing the hinge over the inserts simultaneously. Now granted, installing all the inserts at once sounds great in theory, but not so much in practice. Because you can have up to six inserts to install in a single frame, each of those inserts need to be temporarily held in position by hand before closing the hinge and locking it. Now this could go well, but it's just as likely that an insert may be dropped in with an improper orientation or may move out of position while another insert is installed. This is where the snap-in frame with individual steel retention springs really shines. Those springs hold each insert independently, so the installation of one insert does not impact another. As you push in each insert, it snaps into place with a physical and audible click. Also, because you simply push an insert into place, if you encounter resistance, you immediately know that it may be oriented incorrectly. And if that turns out to be the case, simply flip it around and push it in. This leads to another point of discussion, productivity. The old hinged frame design has clear pitfalls and extra steps that are simply not necessary when you consider the availability of a snap-in frame design. Take a look at this time study comparing the assembly time of a hinged frame versus that of a snap-in frame. Here you can see how we need to manually manage all the inserts in the hinged frame until the hinge can finally be closed. On the other side, you have a snap-in frame that locks in each insert right away. As we approach the completion of the assemblies, you can see that there are extra steps needed to close and lock the hinged frame while the snap-in frame is finished once the last insert is pushed into place. While not every type of hinged frame requires the retention clip shown in that time study, every hinged design still locks and unlocks every insert simultaneously, meaning any errors along the way can end up costing you more time during assembly than truly necessary. And finally, one more point associated with the insert posts, and that is the standardization of those posts across past Phoenix Contact insert designs as well as other manufacturers. Rest assured that because of this standardization, legacy modular inserts, as well as inserts from several other suppliers, will be compatible with the current snap-in frame design. In addition, that also means Phoenix Contact's current modular inserts will work with modular frames from other manufacturers. And since I brought up compatibility several times now, let me take a step back to those PE connections I mentioned earlier. Behind the guide pins and sockets are screw terminals to channel the PE lines through the frame itself. One side is for the smaller gauge wire used for grounding signal or control lines, and the other is set up to handle up to 10 gauge wire for any power connections. However, various contacts and crimp lugs can be used to enlarge the PE ground line to accommodate up to six gauge wire. As for the mating side, those guide pins and sockets are 100% compatible with older versions of the modular frames. That being said, Phoenix Contact's snap-in frames do match up one-to-one -one with several other manufacturers in form, fit, and function. We even match slot identification markings. And if that wasn't enough, there are industrial standards we align with as well. Our modular snap-in frames are all approved by UL, CSA, and CE, so they are ready for use in any application globally. Finally, I wanted to talk about a special feature that only works because of the individual retention springs, and that is rear loading of the snap-in modular frame while it's already installed in a panel mounting base. Other manufacturers do offer a way to accomplish this, but they need to utilize extra parts and special frames. They must do that because it's impossible to install inserts into a hinged frame while it's mounted in a base housing. Reason being, 
Once that hinged frame is screwed into place, you can't actuate the hinge to allow inserts to be installed. But with Phoenix Contact, this is all built into the standard modular frame as is, which makes the explanation rather short. Simply mount your panel mounting base housing to your cabinet and install the empty or partially loaded snap-in modular frame in that housing. From there, you can terminate and install individual modular inserts into the frame from inside the cabinet. This is most convenient if you find it easier to or necessary to install your wiring in the modular insert before locking it into the modular frame. So if you couldn't tell by now, I'm kind of all about Phoenix Contact's newest snap-in modular frame design. From my point of view, there are so many advantages to snap-in frames, it just doesn't make sense to continue using outdated hinge frames. I hope that you found at least some of what I've talked about here helpful. I'll be back soon with more videos taking a closer look at the technology Phoenix Contact has deployed in its HeavyCon connector system. But until then, keep it heavy with HeavyCon.